Well, Republican Nick Langworthy has been declared the victor in the race for New York State's 23rd congressional seat in Congress, with Democrat opponent Max Della Pia conceding. Our Bronson Rasmussen joins me now live at the news desk with more on this congressional race. And uh, Bronson, it really was uh, an exciting night in Buffalo for you as things developed pretty quickly. That's true, Justin. Uh, just minutes after the polls closed, Langworthy took to the stage at the Republican headquarters in downtown Buffalo to declare his victory over Max Delapia. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first step. We have so much work ahead of us. January 3rd, I'll be sworn into Congress, and a new era of leadership starts in this country. We will make you proud. We will restore this congressional district to the esteem that the people of Western New York and the Southern Tier deserve. That I promise you. The now congressman-elect entered the national political spotlight in 2016 when he joined then-President Donald Trump's transition team. In Congress, the Chautauqua County native has one major directive. Talk is cheap, but this country needs action. And tonight I will pledge to the people of the 23rd Congressional District that I will work with anyone in Washington, D.C. who is committed to a common sense agenda that puts America back on track for Western New York and the Southern Tier. In the end, Chairman of the Tioga County Democratic Committee and 30-year veteran of the United States Air Force, Max Delapia, conceded the race to Langworthy. I want to thank all the voters who trusted me with their vote. While I regret not being able to serve you in Congress, I can assure you the effort to run was worth it. Langworthy will represent New York's 23rd Congressional District, currently held by Joe Sempolensky, who won a special election after former Congressman Tom Reed resigned. Sempolensky defeated Delapia for that seat back in late August. Yeah, and the congressional race here really does have a lot of impact. And we've been talking about that nationwide, about which way that will sway. And one of the things that I thought was interesting was the redistricting process here in Western New York. Uh, Sempolensky uh, is currently serving out the remainder of the old 23rd Congressional District, which expanded more out towards the east, where now, this modified district, which you know has been changed following this legal battle that we saw back in June, which led to that primary being moved to August, and uh, that now forms up into the Buffalo area, which we saw that influence tonight in simply the location taking place in Buffalo, which uh, before, for the most part, uh, with previous Congressman Tom Reed, you know, he didn't campaign really anywhere outside of Chautauqua, Cattaraugus, Allegheny, and then out eastward into Steuben in the Elmira area. So it's, it's interesting to see that that Republican stronghold still continues even though you get more of that urban environment. It doesn't even just have to be with Republicans. Uh, Max Delpia was up by Buffalo uh, last night as well. Right, exactly. But nevertheless, it wasn't enough to rally any sort of uh, Democratic votes. So the influence of the southern section of Buffalo, greater area, seems to not impact that district. And it looks like it could continue as a stronghold. And one of the aspects of the primary, if we remember, was Chautauqua, Cattaraugus, Allegheny, the southern tier, came and supported Langworthy to get him actually on the Republican ticket. And, you know, as we continue to break down the voting data over the next few days, I wouldn't be surprised if that continued tonight, being a Chautauqua County native. That probably is what led him to declare his victory so early right. coming election night. Right. Feeling the strong pulse of that and then, you know, being able to rely on some of that exit polling data. Bronson, thank you so much for joining me at the desk after a late night for the both of us. I appreciate you uh, coming on and uh, giving us this update. Well, it's election night. It's when we have yeah. the most fun. Yes, it is. It is the Super Bowl of local news. and.